Hi, and welcome to our 121st test and measurement video. Today we'll look at histograms in the Tektronix MDO 3000 series oscilloscope. To see how they work, first we have to acquire and display a signal. This is easily done by running a BNC cable from the internal AFG, an external AFG, or other signal source to an analog input. Press AFG and, if necessary, turn on the analog channel. Here we are displaying the sine wave, the AFG default. To see a histogram display of the sine wave, press measure in the wave inspector section. Then, in the horizontal measure menu, press the soft key associated with waveform histograms. This brings up the relevant histograms menu. Pressing the associated soft key toggles between off and vertical or horizontal histograms. Then, in the dedicated brown color, you see the first vertical histogram, which displays amplitude, and then the horizontal histogram, which displays time. In the same screens, we see horizontal and vertical cursors, co collectively known as the box. These cursors aid in relating the histogram to the conventional time, display, time domain display, shown simultaneously in the same screen. Before going any further, we should back up and see what the histogram is all about. First, you need to get beyond the idea that it has anything to do with history. It probably derives from ancient Greek histos, which means an array of upright objects such as corn stalks in a field or masts of ships at sea. The histogram is actually a statistical graph that represents the frequency of values by means of vertical or horizontal rectangles of varying dimensions. The areas of these bins are proportional to the corresponding frequencies of occurrence. To construct a histogram, the first step is to bend the range of values, then count the number of values in each interval. The oscilloscope does all this for you. If you look at the vertical histogram of the sine wave, you will see that where the time domain trace crosses zero on the amplitude scale, the bends are smaller. Similarly, in the horizontal histogram, The bars are smaller where the rate of change in the time domain function is least. All of this can be seen for other waveforms, but every time you change the waveforms, you have to go back into the histogram menu and turn histograms back on. Noise is very interesting. Notice how it creeps gradually to the maximum level because the random noise signal is cumulative over time. In the Tektronix MDL 3000 series oscilloscope, histograms are connected intimately to statistics. Here are some available measurements. Waveform count displays the number of waveforms that contributed to the histogram. Hits in box peak hits median 
displays the number of samples within the histogram box on its boundaries. Peak to peak displays the peak to peak values of the histogram. Histogram max, histogram min. Histogram mean displays the middle histogram data value, where half of all histogram data points are less than this value and half are greater than this value. Standard deviation measures the root mean square of all histogram data points within or on the histogram box. Thanks for watching. New videos are added periodically, so check back frequently.